Um, that's a small sluice. It uh, doesn't run very well unless you have really fast water. It seems kind of ass backwards because the bigger one runs better if uh, you had the water that I've got now. So I'm not quite sure why. Um, this is where I'm digging. I'm digging behind this big ass rock. There's another one. Water's coming this way. All I'm doing is digging straight into this bucket because the sluice is not next to me. So I can't shovel straight into it. Um, I can shovel straight into it. I actually tried that here because you've got to prime the uh, sluice. Um, I, the only negative part about this is I've got to dam up. Um, but I do have good water flow today. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's actually a nice little chunk of gold there in the V mat. Hopefully you can see it. I know I can see it from my end. Like right there. And so I know I'm on the gold. The V mat definitely worked out well. Um, the hardware cloth has definitely proven its work. Uh, it is cold. I want to say it's like 28, 29 degrees out here. Um, so I'm going to get back to it. I was able to shovel that bucket into here with the scoop. I don't know, maybe eight minutes, eight to ten minutes. So not bad. Uh, no classification whatsoever. So that made me happy. As you can see, a lot of it just dumping over the edge. I've got a bit of a pitch to it. I'm not supposed to have more than five degrees, but unfortunately, I think I'm in about 15, 20. Um, so I'm hoping that we're going to have some nice gold catch, but we'll find out. All right, so I am going to show you ease of use. Uh, it took me, I don't know, a minute to fill this bucket. <laughs> um, now the it's, again, ass backwards because before it took me longest to fill the bucket and a short amount of time to get the bucket through the sluice. Now it takes me longer to get it through the sluice than through the shoveling. So I think in the future, it's probably best to get the sluice close to where you're digging. Um, but this is it. This is Ohio. So there is that. So I'm gonna go in here with just a scoop full of craziness. You can see there's a big ass rock and some nastiness. Uh, I'm gonna put it in here through the sluice. I gotta, for the big pieces, just kind of nick it out. Uh, you'll notice the material flies through. Just clean the hardware cloth a couple times. And voila, it's done. It really is that easy. Oh, I am very much enjoying this process. So we'll do one without a big rock. Here to the back. Cuts through. Uh, we get a little bit of build up on the hardware cloth. That's only because of the speed of which I have the water I have. Um, and I'm limited because, again, it's Ohio and it has it just rained. But it's been a while since it has rained. So that's all she wrote. So I put them up on the rock. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta have the gloves because it's cold. So now I'm starting to dig close to the sluice um, just to give it a test run. My biggest fear here is, is that when I dump material in, um, the gold just is gonna go right over everything. And I don't know if you can see down in there or not, but there's definitely an exchange happening um, in the trap. But I found this interesting because I have loaded this thing and just swept my hand under to get it taken care of. and I'm not going to really care about the mats too much because right here, let's hope you see it. I think you can. Right there is a piece of gold and it's just stuck. And no matter what I throw in here, it just continues to stay right there, which I found very interesting. Let's see if I can light it up. There it is. So, and that, as you can see, is right here in the middle. I mean, it's not even moving. I'm just tossing dirt in it, tossing dirt in it. No big deal. Um, definitely going to the mat, which makes me happy. Let's see if I can do it this way. Get a better view. Um, I wish I had. Uh, faster 
flow, but you know, you just got to work with what you got. Um, but I did test pan this hole right there. It was producing three or four colors per pan, and that's pretty good for Ohio. Um, so I'm going to continue at it. I'm actually going to try to shoot this next video with me putting stuff in um, and just moving it through. So we'll see how that goes. Bear with me. Material. I'm going to try doing this with one hand. Uh, as you can see, there's a a lot of nonsense in here. I would have normally classified most of this out and ended up with a couple of cups. But what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna dump this in, clean off my shovel, throw the shovel to the side. So now what you're seeing is you see this buildup because I don't have water flow that's fast enough. So all I'm simply doing is just running my hand over the gate, and bringing some of these bigger pieces down. No big deal. No big deal. It just chews up the material. It, it amazes me how how fast it chews it all up. And voila. Um, we have a little bit of residual happening. But, I mean, it's because of my water flow here. Uh, the gold now has moved to right here in the corner. So, I don't have to worry about losing anything over the top. I don't even think that would ever happen. Uh, I'm going to try to turn this off. Turn the flash off so you can see, hopefully, that there's an exchange happening down in here. So I definitely can tell it's happening. Um, so I know the water's flowing through and it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, and that's it. I mean, it just chews through material. I've done close to six buckets, maybe five and a half buckets in an hour. Typically before I was doing um, three buckets classified, if I was lucky, um, and maybe four, um, but that's classified material. This time I'm just dumping it in. Now I need to have somebody here just to scoop it into the sluice if I want to go quicker. But if I shovel directly in, it's a no-brainer. Um, it, it, it wins over a regular sluice hands down. About 10 o'clock and I was just wondering, should I uh, continue for about another hour or so? But uh, it looks like the universe wants me to stop. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second uh, shovel I've busted. <laughs> <laughs> in the past four months so it looks like it's time for a new shovel uh, she ran really good I mean you can see the material I've run far more than anything I've ever done before and that's just in an hour and a half time um, sluice looks good definitely gold in the v-mat so next up is uh, to rinse her out and see what we got I had two big fears. Fear number one is, is that because of the way that this trap works, and I don't know if you can see down there or not, so let's try. See the two tube hole openings? Um, because of the way that the water comes in, I was fearful that um, leaves would come down and get caught in there and clog up the tubes. Uh, I had several leaves come down through. Uh, it was definitely worrisome, but um, I don't think that there was a need for worry. Uh, fear number two, my biggest fear, is does this thing catch gold? And um, it catches it. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised given the amount. Um, typically I wouldn't see this in the first hour and a half, um, but I did today. So first you can see the amount of black sand that is accumulated. Um, that's how much it caught. And then we have some really nice fine gold uh, up in here. So, I am really, really pleased um, at how well this thing did. Um, for an hour and a half, that's not bad in Ohio. Um, 
I don't normally see that for maybe, I don't know, two, three hours into it. So this is, this is pretty good. Uh, obviously, against Georgia, that would be one pan. <laughs> uh, but don't forget, we're in Ohio. So, yeah. Uh, as far as the bazooka sluices go, I give it an A-plus rating. These things just definitely kick ass. Definitely.